reading for November 16th, entitled, Leaders in the Invisible Conflict. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. Luke chapter 10, verse 22. No man can explain the mysteries of God. His glory is hidden from the world. Of what value are the surmisings and speculations of men concerning his personality? Christ is the representative of the Father, the express image of his person. Creation speaks to us of the skill and power of God. In his goodness, God has placed on the earth beautiful flowers and trees, wonderfully adapted to the countries and the climate in which they grow. And, though sin has marred the form and beauty of the things of nature, though on them there may be seen traces of the work of the prince of the power of the air, yet they still speak of God and still reveal some of the beauty of Eden. In the heavens above, in the earth, in the broad waters of the ocean, we see the handiwork of God. All creation testifies of His power, His wisdom, His love. Yet not from the stars, or the ocean, or the cataract can we learn of the personality of God. This Christ came to reveal. Christ came to reveal to a fallen race the love of God. He, the light of the world, veiled the dazzling splendor of the brightness of His divinity and came to live on this earth as a man among men, that they might, without being consumed, become acquainted with their Creator. No man has seen God at any time, except as He is revealed through Christ. Because of frequent triumphs, Satan is becoming more bold and defiant in his rebellion against God. The rapid development of evil, the confusion among the laboring classes, reveal that men are rapidly taking sides. They are being bound up in bundles to be burned. The labor unions are quickly stirred to violence if their demands are not complied with. Plainer and plainer is it becoming that the inhabitants of the world are not in harmony with God. No scientific theory can explain the steady march of evil workers under the generalship of Satan. In every mob, wicked angels are at work, rousing men to commit deeds of violence. The perversity and cruelty of men will reach such a height that God will reveal Himself in His majesty. Very soon, the wickedness of the world will have reached its limit, and, as in the days of Noah, God will pour out His judgments. But even when wickedness is at its height, we may know that our Helper is close by our side. Taken from Letter 250, dated November 16, 1903, to J. E. White, her son, who was working among the blacks of the southern states.